Why does Hollywood hate mimes? Hello everyone! So you're watching a movie and suddenly you see some great misfortune come to, of all forms of entertainers, a mime. A mime, as I'm sure you're all aware, is a performer who, in silence, pretends to interact with things that aren't there. And sure enough, Hollywood has a bizarre and strange dislike of them. To the twisted extent that they display, or reference at least, something horrible coming to them. Examples that come to mind, 2004's Euro Trip, where one of the characters engages in battle with a robot-themed mime, ultimately kicking him in the testicle regions. 1995's A Goofy Movie, where Goofy, playing along with a mime trying to raise a pretend piano, cuts off the pretend rope with his fingers, only to have an actual piano fall on the mime. Same year, Die Hard with a Vengeance, during the car chase scene through Central Park, and Samuel Jackson Zeus at some point asks if Bruce Willis's McLean is aiming for the people he's almost hitting, which McLean denies, but then adds, well, maybe that mime. 1993's Robin Hood, Men in Tights, where Roger Reese's Sheriff of Rottingham threatens to have a mime executed, only to be spared by Richard Lewis's Prince John, and the sheriff lets go, albeit begrudgingly. 1990's Gremlins 2 The New Batch, the scene where Phoebe Cates' Kate bails Zach Galligan's Billy out of jail. You see a bunch of mimes being brought into the police station for reasons unknown. Don't even know what the crime they're accused of was, but given some movie, you gotta wonder. Perhaps they were suspected in taking part in the mob massacre in front of City Hall in 1989's Batman. The ultimate question you gotta wonder is, why? Why does Hollywood treat mimes so horribly? Certainly a mime is not that awful. Okay, so maybe they can be slightly annoying, but I can't think of an actual person who would cause physical harm to an actual performer in mime. More often than not, we just let look away and let them be. Or we pay them. Stranger things have happened. But seriously, does anyone outside the world of movies actually hate mimes? You, sir. Random internet user. Hello? Yes, sir. Tell me. Do you like mimes? I like mimes! How very inappropriately disturbing, thank you. Honestly, I think it might harken back to the silent film era. You see, with early silent films, certain restrictions meant that stories had to be told with minimal dialogue, and dialogue itself was restricted to intertitles. So this often demanded a highly stylized form of physical acting largely derived from the stage. Thus, mime played an important role in films prior to films with sound and, cheap, sound and speech. Perhaps Hollywood is upset or disappointed by this moment in their own personal history, that they, that they try to discourage us, the viewing audience, from appreciating an art form that they have gone so far from. I mean, if you want proof of their lack of appreciation of their own history, look at the amount of remakes, reboots, and retellings of their old material they keep dishing out every year. I'm Mike, and this has been a Penguin's Rock production.